Hello, Scorpio viewers. I'm sorry, this reading might be a little bit shorter than most of my videos, but I'll be back to my normal schedule on the 15th. Um, thanks for bearing with me. As always, I'm available for private readings. Just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video, so you can just copy and paste it and email me. My donation links are also below. Donations are much appreciated. And please like, share, subscribe if this resonates. So let's just get a quick view here of what's going on. I'm aware that you are my soulmate or my twin flame. You are the one. I have never felt this way before. Okay, very deep connection here. I think about you all the time. The nostalgia hurts deeply. You came on strong and I wasn't ready for it. I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. Kind of feels like this person, yeah, like this person ran away a little bit and they, they want to fix it now, but they're not really sure where to start. I think that, I don't know if it's that you came on strong. I think the relationship itself, the connection was just intense. I feel like this is like a twin flame or a soulmate connection. So I feel like they might, like maybe you opened their third eye when you guys were together and they just really weren't used to that. Like they weren't used to all that energy feels like they want to fix it they just don't know they don't know where to start this is a strong past life connection too it says you know they're all they will i will always come back for you i will always find you i lied to you what do they lie about i don't know if i'm brave enough for this kind of love yeah i feel like they might have sabotaged it a little bit they do love you though I'm going through a rebirthing process, a psychic awakening. Let's see here. I feel like they are getting past these fears. Finally. I feel like, I really feel like you opened their third eye. That's coming, that's coming through really strongly. So I think that it kind of freaked them out. I feel like they weren't used to the energy. At this time, it's best to wait for me to reach out first because I have a bad habit of taking you for granted. And then fantasizing about you sexually. Might be doing sex magic on you. <laughs> I'm aware that we are telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. Yeah, it feels like there's there's a lot of fearful energy here. It feels like someone that really sabotaged it, and they regret it now. They regret letting you go. They they feel like they never should have left. I've grown up, and I'm ready for commitment. You're so different than... Anyone I've ever met, you've helped me become a better person. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I honestly don't know if you're going to want this, though, because I get, like, a very fearful energy from this person, and I don't know if it's worth it. I really feel like this person is trying to push past their fear, but they're just so... It's, like, such a skittish energy. It just feels like someone... It just feels like someone that's going to run when it gets too deep and too real, you know? Like, you guys are happy together, and then you talk about marriage, and they, they run for the hills. Or you guys, you know, make plans to move in together, and they're they're gone. They're out. You know what I mean? It's like, it feels like someone that really loves you, but it almost feels like it's really sad because, you know, there's potential here for this to be something amazing. But it kind of feels like you're their unicorn. And a unicorn, I don't know if you guys have heard that term, but a unicorn is someone that it's like it's like a fantasy it's like it's something that's just so pure and so authentic and and so i mean so real so deep so intense um so magical that if they ever lost it they would never recover so it feels like they dream about you like they fantasize about you they long for you they cry over you they miss you but they're so afraid of taking action in the physical world because if they ever lost you, they couldn't handle it. You know, so it's almost like they like to just hold on to that dream. It's like the dream of you kind of keeps them going. I feel like maybe this person doesn't really have anybody else. Like they don't have anyone else that they really trust or love. 
So they just feel like if you were to reject them or break their heart, like it would just destroy them because it's like the, the dream of you is kind of all they have. So, I mean, yeah, it's sweet and it's pure, but in, at the end of the day, you want someone that's going to come home and cuddle with you and watch movies with you, watch Netflix with you. You don't want someone that just sees you as a fantasy. Like, yeah, it's sweet that they have you on this pedestal. It's sweet that they see you as this beautiful, enchanting creature, but you want a real relationship, right? You know what I mean? Like, do you really want to be someone's unicorn? Um, and you know, I'm just telling you, like, I try to just tell you guys what's going on. It's, you know, I try to remain, you know, relatively unbiased. Like I just try to, you know, it's up to you personally with this energy. I think that I would be flattered, but I don't know if I would go for this because I don't think this person's very sweet. They're very loving. They think the world of you, they think that you're everything, but I don't feel like I would, tr it feels like they just don't have much of a backbone. It just feels like they're very skittish. They're very afraid. They're very, like they don't have a lot going for them. I feel like you need someone that's more confident and more assertive. I just get the sense that like, yeah, you guys could be happy for a bit, but when things get real, they're going to run. When you guys talk about marriage, when you talk about commitment, when you talk about having a family, whatever it might be. I feel like that's when this person's going to panic. This feels like someone who is like very, kind of don't want to say for sure that they were sheltered, but it almost feels like someone, like a mama's boy or like daddy's girl or something, you know, like, and I don't want to judge people like that, but it just feels like, I feel like someone that like is living at home in their mom's basement, you know, it's that kind of energy. It's like, I'm not saying that's the case necessarily, maybe, maybe for a couple of you it is. But I just get I just get the energy of someone like and there's no shame in that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, money is money is it, the economy is rough right now. I get it. But it just feels like someone that lacks experience. They lack life experience. They lack confidence. They lack communication skills. You know, like this person has a really good heart. They're very sweet. They're very loving. But they're just they're so skittish. They're so scared of life and love. And do you want that? <laughs> you know? But I mean, this person is... You know, they, they, do, they do want communication with you. They regret what they said to you. Yeah, you have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. So I think you've got to decide if you want this. Because if you don't, there might... I feel like there is someone new that's either, either just come in or coming in. I think that you have to be clear with the universe. Like, do you want this old person from the past or do you want to manifest someone new? It's up to you. Um, it almost feels like, so the, the energy I get here is almost like on a soul level, this person's like a warrior. Like, I don't want to say a warrior, but this person's like different on a soul level. But their life experiences in their mind is um, like their ego, like who they are this lifetime kind of contradicts who they are on a soul level. Does that make sense? So like on a soul level, let's say that this person's been through battles, they've been through war, they've been through famine, they're very strong. But in this lifetime, maybe they didn't have a lot of life experience, maybe they, you know, have attachment issues, maybe they have um, just, just these fears and insecurities. And so I think that's the confusion and the disconnect. Because you're, you're, you're remembering, it's like you have this, this soul recognition, like you remember who they were, who they were in your past lives. This is like, this is someone you've had past lives with, like a soulmate or a twin flame. And so you feel like, you know, this person used to be so strong. They used to be a warrior. They used to be this and this and this. And then, you know, but in this lifetime, they're just the, the life experiences they've had have kind of made them, you know, scared and almost I don't want to say shallow, but just kind of like scared and submissive and closed off. And so they're not really in touch with their soul fully. It's like they're not being who they truly are on a soul level. I hope that makes sense. So it's like, yeah, you're picking up on who they are in the 5D, who their soul is. You know, you're picking up on your past life experiences together. But you got to, you know, take into account who they are physically, you know, their mind, their body, their ego, this lifetime, their experiences, this lifetime, 
because they might be a war they might have been a warrior their entire you know all of their past lives but if this lifetime they were sheltered and never left their home state it they're they're not you know what i mean like that comes into play and it kind of feels like a situation here where there's like a disconnect between you know their ego you know their their physical current life self in their past lives you know who they are on a soul level i've dated about what it'd be like to be married to you you come off uninterested and detached yeah it's like you're their unicorn like they daydream about you but i don't know yeah it's like they've got commitment issues they've gotten used to being alone some of them are in a, a stagnant unhappy living situation they're drained. They're distracted. I just feel like this person doesn't have much of a backbone. And maybe this person was a warrior in their past lives. And that's why they don't this lifetime. Because maybe, like, it's not bad to be a warrior spirit. But maybe they wanted to see the other side of things this lifetime. So it's almost like a sense of confusion for you. Because you're like, wait a minute. Like, I've known this person hundreds and hundreds of years. They're usually so strong. Like, what the hell? Like, he's he's scared and timid this lifetime? Or, or she's scared and timid this lifetime? You're like, what? Like, there's, like, this confusion, this disconnect, because they're so different. Like, maybe it's just, like, their car, like, what they agreed to this lifetime, though. Like, they wanted to see the other side of things. Um, they often think about the last night that you saw each other, and your energy draws them in. You're, they see you as beautiful, mesmerizing. They want to talk to you, but so much time has gone by. They're not sure how to uh, to come. They're not sure how to start up a conversation. They want to get their life together and come to you with a stable love offer. But I just, I feel like their living situation is difficult. I feel like, yeah, they do cry over you sometimes. And they don't want to be apart from you any longer. They really miss you. But it's just, you got to take into account who they are physically, mentally this lifetime. Um, I know that's difficult. But... They just really need to step out of their comfort zone. This feels like somebody who just like, like never left their hometown or their state. It just feels like someone who's like repeating these cycles. It's a really strange, confusing energy. But maybe they decided to do that this lifetime. You know, maybe that's just kind of what they decided to do this lifetime. Like maybe it's. Like, they might be your true love on a soul level, but, you know, you you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that it can work this lifetime or that it can work easily. They might need more, they, they need to go through some tower moments. They need to go through some things that, that shake them up and help them grow a pair, to be honest. But like I said, for some, this might just be what they agree to this lifetime. So it might, that might be where the, conf the confusion lies because you're like, this is my true love. I've known this person all my life, but maybe... This lifetime, you guys just agreed to learn different lessons than you usually do in your past lives. I hope that makes sense. But, you know, there's different stories here. So, as always, if you want me to go in depth into this and tell you more about, you know, what this person's feeling, what, you know, whatever you want to know, I can go into past lives as well. Just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated. My donation links are also below. Um, please like, share, subscribe if this resonates. You know, please share because someone else might need to hear this message as well. So thank you. I appreciate you guys.